Dear students, in last class we have solved problems on series magnetic circuits. In today's class, we shall derive an expression for lifting force of magnet. Let us consider an electromagnet which is made by placing a winding having n number of turns on the magnetic material. Say I ampere of current flows through the winding and now this electromagnet has to lift or it has to pull a magnetic material having mass of m kg towards it where that magnetic material is placed at a distance of x meters. Okay. So how much force is required to pull this magnetic material? For that we have to derive an expression. So let us write here. Let us consider an electromagnet. having n number of turns on it through which I ampere of current flows F be the force required to pull a mass of mkg placed at a distance of x meters away from it. B be the flux density. in the air gap. Now here is a air gap between electromagnet and the mass to be lifted. So in this gap, let us say flux density is B Weber per meter square or test law. Now this X is nothing but the gap length that is air gap length between electromagnet and the mass to be lifted. When this mass of mkg and the electromagnet come in contact, the area of contact will be equal to the area of electromagnet. So we will write here A be the area of contact in meter square.
now let us say this mass is lifted by a very small distance dx meters to lift this mass or to pull this mass by dx meters the electromagnet has to do some work and that work done is calculated as the force of a pull into distance dx by which the mass moves also the work done is equal to change in the magnitude of energy stored in the magnetic field so now we will write that say to pull the mass of mkg electromagnet does work of f into dx this work done is equal to change in the stored energy in magnetic field we all know that magnetic field can store energy if we make use of some energy to do a certain work then the stored energy magnitude will decrease so we can say the change in the energy stored in magnetic field is equal to the work done by the electromagnet to lift or to pull mass of mkg here change in energy stored in magnetic field is given by delta e equal to energy density into change in volume energy density is half into b square by mu naught change in volume is area of contact into 
the distance by which mass of mkg is being pulled that is dx here the first bracket is for energy density and the second bracket is for change in volume now now we will equate change in energy density with the work done that is force into dx let us call this as 1 and this as 2 here equating 1 and 2 f into dx equal to half into b square by mu naught into a into dx now dx and dx will cancel so we get here the force required to lift a mass of mkg as f equal to half into b square upon mu naught into a in newtons that is f equal to half into b square by mu naught into a newtons to convert this into kg we will divide force by 9.8 f equal to half into b square by mu naught into a divided by 9.8 kg which becomes equal to 0 0.051 into b square upon mu naught into a remember mu naught is given by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. It's a constant permeability of free space. Hence, the lifting force per unit area may be written as pm equal to half into b square by mu naught newton per meter square because here I am going to divide by a if I divide f by a then I will not be having A in the numerator of PM expression and the unit changes to Newton per meter square or in kg how we can write it P 
pm equal to 0.051 b square by mu naught kg per meter square. Now we will solve one numerical on lifting force of magnet. Calculate lifting force of an electromagnet. having a flux density in the air gap equal to 0.25 Weber per meter square and area of contact equal to zero point one two meter square solution first we will write the given information flux density B equal to 0.25 Weber per meter square in the air gap and area of contact is 0 0.12 meter square. We know lifting force F is equal to zero point zero five one into B square upon mu naught into A kg substituting and simplifying we get F equal to 0 0.051 into 0 0.25 whole square by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 0 0.12 meter square that is equal to 304.38 kg we can give the answer in Newtons also 
3.38 into 9.8 newtons that is equal to 2982.96 newtons so we'll just write here r One more numerical we will take. Calculate the current that need to be circulated through a winding of Five hundred turns of an electromagnet used for. lifting a mass of 50 kg take area of contact as point five meter square solution given number of turns n equal to 500 we need to calculate current mass equal to 50 kg and area of contact a is equal to 0.5 meter square F is equal to M that is equal to 50 kg. Here we have to use formula for lifting force in kgs. So we can equate F and M. Knowing F equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव वन इंटू बी स्क्वायर बाय म्यू नॉट इंटू ए के जी and substituting for f equal to 50 0 0.051 b square we don't know mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 and area is 0 0.5 meter square we can write for b square now as fifteen to four pi into ten raised to minus seven divided by zero point zero five one into point five. That is equal to Two point four six four into ten raised to minus three is B square value. So B is equal to taking square root, we get zero point zero four nine six Weber per meter square. We know that B is flux density in the air gap. And also we know that the relationship between b and h that is b equal to mu h for air gap b is equal to mu naught into h since h is equal to n i by l for air gap h is equal to n into i by l g here h of iron part is neglected as its value is very very small comparing to h of air gap we will make use of these relationships in writing b to get the value of current i so now we can write b equal to mu naught h for air gap and that is equal to 0 0.0496 and mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 so h is equal to 0 0.0496 by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 what is h? h is n into i by lg and that is equal to 0 0.0496 by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 n is given as 500 
current we need to calculate lg is missing in the problem statement so we will note it in problem statement first and then use its value so right here and lg is equal to Ten centimeter. In the derivation, I had written this Lg as x meters. So now here I will write ten centimeter as point one meter. Ten centimeter equal to point one meter. On RHS. 0.0496 divided by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. Therefore, I is equal to 0.0496 divided by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into 500 into 0.1 in numerator simplifying we get 7.89 ampere remember in the same problem current may be given and you may be asked to calculate the number of turns. Dear students, with this we have completed first unit. From next class onwards, I will take up second unit. I stop this class here only. Thank you.